Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Transsexual Meltdowns. And today on the show, I'd like to tell you all about the new gaff technology that I've perfected. Alright, so here's the big news, okay? Oh, and before I proceed into the telling you about the new gaff technology, I just wanted to let you all know that from now on, I'm going by the name Adriana Morgana. Alright, so I'm not going to be calling myself Mona anymore. It's just a name that came to me after hours and hours of research on women's names. Anyhow, now on to the big news. Now I know that a lot of you have been using the waistbands off of pantyhose or fishnets to hold your gaffs in place. And I know you all know about the sock idea, you know, and blah 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 blah. Okay, so, anywho, yes it's true, you cut the end off of a sock and blah blah blah. We all know about that. Anywho, in order to upgrade this technique, in order to hold your junk in place, it is proper for you to have something strong enough, something with enough elasticity to hold your junk in place. And let's face it, the waistband of pantyhose or fishnets just isn't strong enough. It just doesn't have the elasticity enough to hold that junk in place, especially if you're at work all day. If you're going to be wearing this thing, unless you want to be going to the bathroom constantly and readjusting it, you don't want that kind of hassle. So here's what you do. Go and find a pair of underwear that has a thick waistband. You know, I'm talking like the big, like, inch-long waistband, or almost an inch long. You know, it can be a boy, girl, underwear, whatever, Fruit of Loom, whatever. Mine are women's Hanes underwear that have a big, thick waistband. And now I'm talking about the elastic waistband that's like that, that, it's like that wide, okay? It's like that long. And, and you know, not, we're not talking about the little you know, little bitty panty waist lines for the little skimpy panties. We're talking about the big elastic bands that go around the thick underwear, okay? Women's underwear, women's panties, all right? Now, you get the big thick waist waistband off of this underwear. You cut it off, all right? And you run, you know, the gaff through it, you know? And let me tell you something. It is going to hold your junk in place like you've never held it in place before. Okay, the only thing that could do a better job than this would be like duct tape or something. Okay, and I'm, I don't do the duct tape thing. So, if you don't want to use duct tape and you're sick and tired of the waistband off the pantyhose, you know, making your stuff not stay in place, especially if you got to sit down and get up and sit down and get up all day at work or whatever, you definitely want to do this. Okay, so I just got sick and tired of the, the panty line, the panty bands, the waistbands off the pantyhose just aren't strong enough to hold my junk in place, okay? So, this is what you need to do in order to hold your junk in place. I highly recommend you do this, okay? Now, I'll do another video soon where I'll actually show you the actually type, the type of waistband that I have. I don't have it out with me right now, but I will do another video soon and show you exactly what I'm talking about if you don't know what I'm talking about. And if you can't find this type of waistband, from a woman's panty, like I said, go. Don't be afraid to get the boys' panty. Now make sure it's a small, it's a real tight, snug fit. You want it to be tight, okay? The tighter, the better, because it's gonna hold your junk in place, especially when you pull it up around your hips. Now I don't know about you girls, but I, when I wear a gaff, I put my boys in their sockets, okay? So if you're a girl putting your boys in their sockets, like I do. Let me tell you something. This is going to hold your boys in their sockets. They're not going to come out, out of place like they do with when you use the waistband off of pantyhose. All right. Now, on to something else I wanted to go over real fast. As for all of the haters that think that transgender people need to be open-minded to their hate, well, let me tell you something. It's not going to happen. And it's no different than if you were to want us to, you know, not accept, you know, disabled people, you know, like, let's say, hypothetically, there were some people out there, a group or a family or whatever, cousins, that don't accept that you are disabled, okay? I'm sorry, but that's hating, okay? We're not going to accept that no more than we're going to accept you not accepting us as being transgender, okay? That, that's just not going to happen. And like I said in another video, I'm sure that there's probably some really nice Nazis out there somewhere, but I don't want anything to do with them. Okay, so Nazis stay away. Okay, and haters, no, no way. Okay? Now, um, 
<laughs> oh, and before I go, I wanted to let everybody know, I'm looking for a girl to sing for my band, for my music, um, from the songs that I've been writing. Um, I, I need one really bad, so, um, I'm still living in this town, um, things are, are looking up, I've been collecting this and that, and having fun, and trying to have fun. Um, I'm gonna start doing videos again, and everything's looking like it's gonna turn up for me. Um, I'm really into the idea of buying this Remington Light Pro laser. It's a home handheld laser. It's like 200 bucks on Amazon. Um, and it says it keeps, it reduction, it causes a reduction of hair on your body and lasts for six months. And it says when the hair finally does grow back that it'll, there'll be less hair every time. It says it takes like three treatments to finally do it. So I'm really looking forward to getting a hold of this thing. And I think it'll be a great investment because I'm not going to spend $800 on a piece of junk laser because I've heard the more expensive they are, the less that likely they are to work. So, um, anywho, um, I have a really bad habit of putting my hand over the microphone right now. Anywho, um, I will do another video really soon and good luck transitioners with your transitioning and I hope I can have some more good news for everyone really soon all right and if you're watching this video don't be afraid to subscribe and i will be back with more videos as soon as possible toodles